today we'll cover what's new in uh, Zoho CRM, except, you know, we're not going to do that. And actually, I was asked to do this session, but I was not really convinced. <laughs> uh, I hope I don't get fired for this, but you know what? Let's just get on with it. Because I can show you all the great features in the world, everything brilliant that Zoho CRM has to offer. But how does it matter if it doesn't help you, right? I can show you really good features, but in the end, you have to benefit from it. And if that doesn't happen, nothing's going to matter. So let me talk of something more relevant, which is some challenges that salespeople face. Are to be precise, the five most common challenges that we hear from salespeople on a day-to-day -day basis. And the first among which is knowing in real time when your businesses are not doing well. We all configure reports, right? But you could do a daily report, weekly, fortnightly, monthly. But then, is it proactive? No, it's not. We've been used to annual medical checkups where, you know, we visit the doctor. And they're like, you know what? Your heart rate is slightly more than normal. But that was still at the end of the year. You've had that for six months now and you never even knew it. Okay, how many of you have a fitness tracker on you right now? Okay, well, well, maybe we need more. Clearly, I'm not using one and that's evident with my size. And why is it, I mean, what's with the growing popularity of these fitness trackers? It's because you can know in real time. You can set a goal. You're sitting for too long, it'll alert you. You know what? You're sitting for too long. Go out, walk 100 more steps. But when we are believing this with our health, are we really applying this to sales? Sales, we are still dependent on reports. And often, you know, closing a deal is the end. But that happens as a, as a sum of many variables, like number of um, many calls made, or maybe the amount of meetings. But we are not really tracking these variables, are we? I mean, we don't track how many calls a salesperson has made, and we don't do that at the very moment. So the requirement is for us to apply this principle of proactive alert back into sales, which makes me move to the next problem of getting information from customers across all touch points. Because you might be one salesperson or two, two salespeople in your team. If you're on a customer visit, somebody might give you a call. You just missed a call and that's the last opportunity. For all you know, you might be on a call well, somebody has taken to Twitter and created a ruckus. You know how easy it is in social media. So in order to combine all these things, you need to connect the dots across every customer touch point because you cannot dictate to customers saying, you know, I am available at this time on the phone, so please reach me only by phone. They can send you an email and they can still go to Twitter. Which makes me move to the next problem. Because once you connect the dots, connect all the different channels, you're no longer losing leads. You get all the leads, nothing's going out, which means you have a very large number of leads now. But still that doesn't change one thing. You still have 30 days in a month and you still have a sales manager that says that. So how would you, how would you deal with it? The only way is to find the best leads among all the ones that you have. Find the cream, find the ones that are most likely to convert. And that is the only way where you can make more deals and better deals. And with that, we go to the next problem. 
maintaining consistency in processes because when you have a large number of leads you convert more deals that means you're growing really fast and when you grow fast it's really a shame if your process cannot keep up because you can go fast I'm sorry your CRM can't that's bad we shouldn't have that situation if you're able to do more deals your process should be strong enough flexible enough to scale along with you and with that the last problem that is in fact one of the most basic problems that's the reason we buy software right reducing the time we spend on routine tasks but though that number has been decreasing over time we still spend quite an amount of time on it we have automation but it's not exactly automatically automated right you still have to trigger something and we still spend quite an amount of time filling forms entering information into CRM and what happens when you cut this time you earn that extra five minutes to make one more call visit one more customer and that can make all the difference you know on that note maybe I don't want to get fired so let me let me tell you the solution and the solution is because we want to help you with these challenges and the solution we have come up with is a CRM that is smarter by proactively suggesting when you need help by alerting you the most appropriate actions which are the next steps a CRM that's better with a sales process that can scale along with you and a process that is flexible enough that can adapt to your needs and a CRM that's faster because you need to reduce your conversion cycles you need to spend even lesser time working on the CRM or rather spend your time on selling so let's first start looking into how you can sell smarter a lot of talk has been going around the AI word the news articles popping up you see that everybody's writing about it what exactly is it is it a trend is it a fad it's something more than that something more meaningful because it all depends on how we interpret it and our meaning of AI how many of you remember the name of this guy very good you might call, some might call that AI but you know it was more of annoyance to me personally than intelligence because it was always in my face you know you need something can I help you can I help you well help me when I want help I'm gonna ask you for it so there's a very fine line between annoyance and intelligence and we need to draw that line that is where AI can turn from something that's a mere layer that's slapped on any bit of software to something that can help us contextually let's look at this for example you know 10 years ago it took about 3.7 cold calls to make initial contact in these 10 years that number has more than doubled and why has that happened you know, it's a much more crowded marketplace now customers have access to all the information in the world they're free to choose and there's a lot of noise so you need to work even harder to get your voice heard so being a salesperson is more difficult now than it was before and what do you need for that you need our AI powered sales assistant Zia Zia can tell you the best time to contact a specific prospect or a customer because most of our calls or rather majority of them go unanswered right you make 10 calls 
Some might not take it, some might take it. You send emails, some of them get a response, the others don't. So what Zia does is contextually learn over time information about all your prospects and then suggest which is the right time to reach them by understanding when they reply to your emails. And coming back to spending more time on CRM and on the tasks that we do. Because if there was an easier way to do the same task, we'd all pick it, right? Why would we not want to do it? So Zia can suggest the right macro for a set of prospects or contacts because you've done that in the past and that has worked. So that's, what, that's how the system contextually learns. And that's about the real time thing, you know. Are we happy getting a report once in a while? While, you know, the ship is sinking in between and we not, we not even know of it. You only know on the 30th of the month because guess what? We've configured a report for the 30th. That's not going to work. You need trend analysis, which takes me back to the coat. You know, when you can prevent it, why do you want to wait to cure it? Rather prevent it before. So how about Zia suggesting you trends on, you know what? The fifth of every month, this is how your sales trend usually looks like. You're lagging behind. You need to pull up. Pull your socks up. Let's get, let's get working harder. Else we cannot reach the goal. And when there is a significant deviation in the suggested trend versus the real trend, that needs to be marked. And that's an anomaly. So Zia can detect anomalies in a sales trend with any activity. So that was about selling smarter. You know, what's the point of being smart and all and having all the intelligence in the world if you cannot have a strong sales process, that's the basic stuff. You need to have a very strong backbone and the backbone is the sales process. Many of you might have started small, right? As entrepreneurs or begun with a small sales team. But most of the times we don't stay small. We are in business to grow. And when we were, when we had a small team, I'm sure it was easy to maintain a fair degree of control. You have two people, you can say, you know, you might have been the one making most of the cold calls. You know the best practices. But as you grow, how do you make sure all this knowledge that you've accumulated over time is transferred to your team? Because when you grow, one thing doesn't change. Each of your process will still need that same degree of attention. When you were there, however you did it, you should be able to do it the same way with a much larger team. But most of the times that doesn't happen. Can you ensure the same degree of compliance even with a much larger team? And for that, your process has to scale. And unless your process scales, you cannot make everybody in your team follow the sales process your way, not their way. Which is where we introduce Blueprint, the easiest way to build a custom sales process, follow it, sell, and then repeat it all over again. It's a simple drag and drop editor, really. You don't need any code. You just have to drag your sales process, whichever ones you need, set the stages, and then get going. That's where it all starts, right? Leads are the beginning of everything. That's where your sales process starts. How many of you think they're easy to get? Well, so the majority thinks they're not easy, right? But despite that, for, despite all the efforts that we do to bring in more leads, we have to deal with a lot of them every day. But then, as I said, 
if you have to get to your target, you need to find the best ones. You need to identify the cream. So it's more like a needle in a haystack. There are leads everywhere. But you need to really pick and find the ones that have a highest chance of converting. You can use scoring rules to score each lead based on your own criteria. You think leads from the tech industry have a higher chance of conversion? Go ahead, give it five points. You think bounced emails are bad? Well, of course they are. You know, somebody didn't give you even the right email ID. Would you waste time maybe pursuing that lead? No, then remove 10 points. And what you're left at the end is an aggregate. An aggregate of all these criteria that you've set, and it finally adds up to a net lead score. So you just pick leads that have score maybe higher than 10, whatever you've set, and then find those and go with those first, and then the ones after that. So it's a straight descending order to know how to prioritize. And leads from social media are something that's becoming very important. We all respond to at mentions and messages in Twitter, but are they coming into the lead stream of your CRM? You reply to them, but then they're not tracked as a lead. What if you could automate all Twitter at mentions to add them as a lead in your CRM and then assign it to a special social media lead manager. They're expert in converting social leads. And you could automate this process. So you turn mere social chatter into credible, actionable leads. And irrespective of how much we look to social media for leads, we still depend heavily on the telephone to make calls, establish that connection, and then close a deal, which is where we've introduced a telephony platform where you can integrate a telephony service with CRM. And not only that, we've also introduced 14 new call management solutions for you to choose from. So you have more choice now than before. So that was about better and having a very good sales process. But we all want to sell fast, right? We want to get more deals. We want to run faster. And in order to do that, you need to reduce your sales conversion times. You can't harp on to a deal for maybe two months. If it's, it's better if you do it in 45 days. And when you, if you have to do that, you need to get in touch with customers in real time. You are away, maybe in a cab waiting at an airport. Somebody at mentions you on Twitter. Somebody says they are in a critical deal evaluation cycle and they're not getting service. You should be the one knowing it. Despite the fact that they've sent it to your support team and not to you. And what happens when you do that? You reduce conversion times because you, you gradually reduce the number of unhappy customers. And we've introduced this last July, that sales signals, and we're taking that story further now with sales signals platform where you can not just get notifications across all the standard Zoho apps and social media, but even third party apps. I mean, as much as we'd like you to use Zoho Desk or Zoho campaigns, really, we really don't want to impose that onto you. So if you still want to swear by Zendesk, well, you're the best judge. And not only these, you can take sales signals as an API and then integrate this with any third party app of your choice, provided they have a compatible API, of course. And when I spoke about social media, we also spend a lot of time prospecting, right? Most of the times, Okay, how many times or how often do people leave their email ID or phone number when they come in as leads? 
they don't which means you spend a lot of time looking for company information how many employees they have what's their turnover based on that you calculate how your pitch should be and if you have to do that you need to reduce that time you spend time on linkedin how about having linkedin sales navigator right inside your crm screen so that you know find information of your prospects faster even get common connections because somebody in your team might know some person at the company you are trying to make a deal with they might have been friends at college and unless you integrated with your crm you wouldn't know that so that was about smarter better and faster and irrespective of how we improve those we can't forget forget some basics which we really have to do like productivity for instance because if you're using office 365 for your team productivity you can continue to do that and integrate it with zoho crm by pulling in the contacts and the calendar and not just that we have conditional fields which can help you significantly reduce the amount of time you spend on filling forms because if you have if there are five relevant forms we really see 10 of them right some of them might not be relevant at that moment but we still see them you know why because they have to be there and what do you have to do for that you have to contextually change the fields that appear if you select motor insurance i want to see the vehicle details if you select health insurance only then do i want to see the family details so you can set a rule to make sure only the relevant forms are shown we want you to experience whatever is new and innovative in zoho crm and you know why because from this day this moment onwards we want to make sure you sell smarter better and faster thank you